In the ocean, if you didn't already know, we're here to tell you that plastic is extremely bad for the environment. However, the use of single-use plastics is at an all-time high. Did you know that we have produced over 8 billion tons of plastic since 1950? As if that weren't enough, the world's beach is 73% plastic. These are alarming numbers and we need to take them into account before eating plastic next time. If you still don't understand why plastic is a problem, here are 10 bad things that plastic causes in the sea. Before you start, make sure you click the like button, subscribe to our feed, and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with our latest and best content. Let's start this video from the number 10. 80 Plastic Bags. Whales are constantly threatened by humans. Many species have been hunted until their disappearance. Thanks to our greed, even now, our habits are seriously affecting the habitat and nature of whaling. In June 2018, 80 plastic bags weighing around 8 kilograms were found in the stomach of a whale. This whale was found in the English Channel and in the province of Sangla in Thailand. Ambulance teams and medics gathered to treat the whale and efforts to save it continued for five days. However, the whale subsequently died. An autopsy revealed that there were 80 plastic bags and several other plastic objects in the stomach. The garbage made the whale sick and this disrupted its hunting regime as it could not hunt for food. The poor whale thought the plastic waste was food and finally swallowed it. This is what we do with other species that need to coexist peacefully with us. We disrupt their food chains by killing their habitats and we kill them too. This is just one example. There are countless examples of marine life dying from plastic, but let's move on to the next one. Number 9. Hermit Crabs. Our consumption and production practices have profound consequences, even in remote areas. Cocos Healing Islands and Henderson Island are distant from each other, but covered in plastic debris. When these tracks are found on the islands, they become ideal traps for crabs that roam them in search of food. Once trapped, they cannot get out because the plastic on them is very slippery, although they end up getting in and dying because they have no way out. This study revealed a plastic container with over 500 dead crabs in it, and thanks to this plastic puzzle, half a million fewer hermit crabs remained on island. Number 8. Tangled Seals. In 2019, a video was released of a kayak in Namibia releasing many seals after being tied with netting and plastic trimmings. The purpose of this film was not to show his exploits, but to educate people about the problem with plastic. Seals are extremely friendly because they are sometimes even called ocean pups. As puppies, they are playful and curious, but naturally, they are attracted to things they have never seen before, and because of this playful and curious nature, they are trapped in what they should not be. However, the kayaker saved more than 600 seals from plastic waste. Seals were caught only in the net. However, many of them were injured and the mesh went through their necks and was cut deeply, leaving wounds that need to be healed. In no time, most of these seals were caught in illegal gillnets in Namibia, but were still used by hunters. They are also unloaded from ships crossing the ocean. Therefore, thinking about waste management has become more important than ever. We need to find better ways to get rid of our waste, because if we continue to thrive in the ocean, many species will be endangered, and soon we won't even have a beautiful ocean or an amazing variety of marine life. Which we take for granted. Number 7. The Poor Beagle Shark. Yes, sharks are dangerous and intimidating, but that doesn't mean they don't deserve to live in peace. However, human intervention has led to the death of many sharks. Marine scientist James Sokolowski discovered a poor 7-meter beagle shark off the coast of Maine. The poor shark nearly became disabled due to the plastic ring attached to his neck. Of course, when she was a little baby when she was growing up, her neck grew, and a plastic ring began to pierce her body if Sokolowski and her researchers hadn't saved the poor shark at the time of her death. They cut a plastic ring on her neck and bandaged her wounds, and then attached a tag to her wing so they could follow her movements to see if she was healing or not. Moments later, they happily reported that the shark had survived and fully recovered from this terrible incident. They also called him Destiny because he suffered all the hardships. It is dangerous to throw plastic without realizing it. 
This results in fish and other marine life getting stuck in this debris. Worst of all, because they can't help themselves, they have to rely on people to hurt them and ultimately save them from failure. Number 6. Octopus Stuck in a Plastic Cup A video by diver Paul Sigurdsson was shot in 2018 that showed a veined octopus taking shelter in a plastic cup. These octopuses are known for taking shelter in shells and other items that they find in the sea. However this octopus took refuge in an unlikely place due to this he was stuck inside the plastic cup once he went in. Of course the divers couldn't leave the octopus like this. They searched for a long time to find the perfect shell where the octopus could take refuge safely. They found many shells and they show the octopus each one. However it was reluctant at first. Finally with some encouragement from the divers the octopus got out of the plastic cup and went into the shell. He thought was perfect for him. This is normal behavior because veined or coconut octopuses are extremely picky when it comes to their shells. They try on many before they find the perfect one. They can take shelter and Paul Sigurdsson and his team helped the tiny octopus to get out of the plastic cup and into the protective shell this video received over 11 million views. It highlights the problem of marine life taking refuge in unlikely places and getting stuck. Because of it they don't have the consciousness to differentiate between plastic and other things in the sea, and this eventually leads them to be trapped in harmful objects. Number 5. The horse swims with a cotton swab. Q-tips are also one big problem in the ocean. They dramatically increase the amount of single-use plastic items that we throw into the ocean. They are not necessary and we can just switch to bamboo swaps. Photographer Justin Hoffman photographed a seahorse hanging on a cotton swab in the ocean. He photographed this image while leading an expectation through Borneo. Horses are small and need support as they navigate the ocean currents. That is why they cling to floating objects with their tails in order to roll along these currents. This little creature found a cotton swab and grabbed onto it. But this is just one example of how marine life is turning to our wreckage in search of shelter because we polluted the ocean with our extremes. This is now an example of how marine life interacts with plastic. These bits of plastic are found everywhere, from the deep sea to distant islands. Hoffman also explained that the ocean is full of trash and stinks. This image should remind us of the kind of footprint we are leaving on our planet. In this way, we are affecting other ecosystems, and it will soon be too late to save our planet. Number 4. Declining Populations of Sea Turtles Whale sharks are not the only ones in danger of extinction. Sea turtles are at higher risk. Every day many turtles ingest plastic items that cut their guts or create gastric problems. Some of them survive and others do not. This happens because they mistake plastic for a food source. However, when they eat the plastic it creates blockages in their digestive system, which is why many populations of turtles have declined rapidly and many of them have also been in danger of extinction, so steps are being taken to create sanctuaries for them to that is not extinguished. More than 50% of sea turtles ingest plastic every day, almost all of them die from it. All of this only highlights the biggest problem facing our planet right now. If we don't find ways to manage our waste or reduce plastic consumption, we will completely ruin the food chain, and who knows what will happen then. All we know is that it's not going to be good. Number 3. Whale shark close to extinction. Did you ever think that a species would go extinct because of the plastic we throw away? If the answer is no, then you need a reality check. Whale sharks may be the first species to go extinct in the ocean due to plastic pollution. The whale shark is one of the largest fish on the planet and is in danger of extinction due to plastic pollution. Within the ocean, these fish are already classified as endangered. Their migration pattern also goes between islands. For example, sharks take them around the island of St. Helena. This is an island that is between Africa and South America. This island is full of debris because it has waste from both places. Apart from this, the island also has an extremely small population of 4,500 people, so of course, there are no efforts to clean up. All the debris that comes here, the plastic keeps accumulating on this island, the whale sharks mistake the plastic for plankton and end up absorbing it all. 
Only now there are less than 7,000 whale sharks left worldwide, this number continues to decline at a rapid rate, although if we cannot control the dumping of our waste, whale sharks will go extinct as a direct result of our plastic pollution. Number 2. Rescue Seal Trapped in Plastic In Washington state in January 2019, footage of two police officers rescuing a seal stuck in a plastic trap on a beach in Washington state was filmed. This plastic wrap was a fishing net that the seal got entangled in as soon as it noticed it. This seal, Sergeant Kyle, was the first to take action and rescue him from the traps of the net. He immediately began to cut the net, while his partner Chris Elia kept the net away from the seal. This was done to prevent the seal from getting tangled in the web. Cutting the net, the sergeant continued to calm the seal. Cutting the neck net was the hardest part. Elijah had to use a catch bowl to hold the seal's head down while cutting the net so that the seal's neck could be free. As soon as she was released, the seal threw itself into the ocean, where seal found solace, safety, and refuge. These incidents multiply when poor marine animals are trapped in our trash. Many seals are stuck in plastic nets or swallowed from our waste. Number 1. Albatross Under Threat These are beautiful birds that prey on marine life for their food need. However because of the extreme plastic problem there is too much debris in the sea. Due to this they accidentally pick up plastic that they end up feeding to their chicks. This is a major problem because even though adult albatross can still regurgitate some of the plastic they have ingested the chicks can't do that. They are helpless in this matter and they end up dying because of this. There are many photos and videos you will find of dead albatross chicks and their plastic diet that have ended up killing them. All of this just goes to show our broken relationship with mother nature that is in extreme need of repair. Albatrosses are among the endangered bird groups already out of the 22 species 14 of them are faced with a threat of extinction though of course, even losing a few of them is not good. What type of steps do we need to take to save this world from plastic waste? Give your suggestion in the comment box and like this video and subscribe our channel for more upcoming videos. You can also watch more amazing video on our channel.